Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for July 4th, 2020, from 1 Samuel chapter 16, Time to Anoint a New King. Let's begin with verse 1. The Lord said to Samuel, How long will you grieve over Saul, since I have rejected him from being king over Israel? Fill your horn with oil and go. I will send you to Jesse, the Bethlehemite, for I have provided for myself a king among his sons. And Samuel said, How can I go? If Saul hears it, he will kill me. And the Lord said, Take a heifer with you and say, I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Samuel knew his own life would be in danger because he was going to be tasked with anointing the next king. But he followed the instructions of our Lord and Savior. And he brought the heifer and went to Bethlehem. Verse 4. Samuel did what the Lord commanded and came to Bethlehem. The elders of the city came to meet him trembling and said, Do you come peaceably? Wow, what a question to ask Samuel. But everyone knew that Samuel and Saul were not on the best of terms. And they feared Saul. So would Sam, Samuel's presence bring the wrath of Saul? If he knew exactly while he was there, it would have, but he didn't. Verse 5, And he said peaceably, I have come to the sacrifice to the Lord. Consecrate yourselves and come with me to the sacrifice. And he consecrated Jesse and his sons and invited them to the sacrifice. And when they came, he looked on Elab, and thought, surely the Lord's anointed is before him. So what did he say to the elders? Come and join me. See for yourselves. This is just going to be a sacrifice. Well, with maybe a little bit of a special anointing at the end, but he didn't say that. So what happened when Samuel then saw Elab and thought, wow, this, surely this is the Lord's anointed? Verse 7, But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not look on his appearance or on his height of his stature, because I have rejected him. For the Lord sees not as man sees. Man looks on the outward appearances, but the Lord looks on the heart. And that's something that we need to remember. The world does look at outward appearances, but God looks at the heart. He looks at faith. Do we believe and trust in him above all things? Samuel goes through the rest of the sons of Jesse. Verse 11, Then Samuel said to Jesse, Are all your sons here? And he said, There remains yet the youngest, but behold, he is keeping the sheep. And Samuel said to Jesse, Send and get him, for we will not sit down till he comes here. And he sent him and brought him in. Now he was ruddy and had beautiful eyes and was handsome. And the Lord said, Arise, anoint him, for this is he. Verse 13, Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brothers. And the Spirit of the Lord rushed upon David from that day forward. And Samuel rose up and went to Ramah. Just like Saul, the Spirit of the Lord rushed upon David. But Saul rejected that spirit and disobeyed God and Samuel. Remember, faith is a gift from God, and so you can say no to that gift. And Saul did by his many actions. Join me again tomorrow as we hear more about the Spirit and music with God's Word. God's peace and many blessings be with you. Thank you for watching and please take an opportunity to share this devotion with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for watching.